to know the motor channel. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Change is difficult to appreciate and often fares far better in hindsight. We tend to follow regimens and live within hard-packed paths, not out of fear or discomfort, but because that's what has become most familiar to us. What we consume follows those trends as well. Our tastes are a product of familiarity and when the pendulum begins to swing in the opposite direction, it can be frightening. There are few designers that have shaken motorcycling to its core more so than South African Pierre Turblanche. To this day, he remains a controversial figure for all who appreciate motorcycles. Turblanche's designs were a radical departure from anything that the legendary Massimo Tamburini had ever produced and justifiably so, they needed to be. Turblanche could not be a simplistic derivation. He was tasked with to usher in a new era. Beneath all of the aesthetic draping, the machines were competitive and undoubtedly surpassed their predecessors. Turblanche's Ducati 999 went on to claim three World Superbike Championship titles in only four years of its production. However, beyond the apex predators of motorcycling lie equally iconic motorcycles such as the Ducati 750 SS. The two-valve, air-cooled SS line is an undeniable part of the Italian brand's DNA. The SS represented something attainable. A sport machine for the road, not a battle-hardened superbike. Ducati's renaissance of the early 2000s was rapid. Turblanche took his pen to all current and new models, reshaping the brand as we knew it. In recent years, his designs have become far more widely appreciated and sought after, despite their initial polarization. There is always something more within the Turblanche bikes and in Glogau, Germany, a family-owned shop known as Caspi Custom Motorcycles discovered the possibilities and built a stunning cafe racer out of a 2001 Ducati 750 SS that is. The Dressel family, Jimmy, his twin brother Mick, and their father Karsten, owns Caspi Custom Motorcycles, often shortened to Caspi Moto. The family-owned and operated shop has been producing cafe racers, bobbers, brats, trackers, and just about everything else under the sun, from their small workshop in the German Free State of Saxony for a few years now. The Ducati 750 SS does not lend itself to the sleek, narrow profiles typically associated with cafe racer builds. Even before when we acquired the bike, Jimmy recalls from when they first devising a strategy for the 750 SS. We knew it would be a tough task to turn this bike into a cafe racer given the watt and curvy gas tank. The trio of builders set upon the task of slimming the 750 SS's profile. Starting at the rear, they chopped the rear end of the trellis frame down, streamlining the tail section of the frame to create a more uniform appearance, while shortening it during the process, svelte and tidy, just as the ton-up boys would have done back in the day. We wanted to create a seamless connection between front and rear bodywork from the front fairing all the way to the seat cowl, Jimmy says. To achieve that look, the three builders smoothed lines on the frame. All tabs were removed, giving the frame sleek look. 